Hello and welcome everybody and this video we are going to actually show you guys what I have done so far in 300 hours in this game. Uh, so yeah, what have I done to my valley? Well, it's basically not much. Uh, this area is basically empty except my house. Uh, their house I moved up here. Uh, I literally logged on the game seeing I had 300 hours, so I haven't done anything. Uh, and I put some decorations up for a quest that required me to do that. So, uh, yeah, but the igloo village kind of idea is definitely coming in my mind, to be fair. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, we are going back to the forest and you actually will see that I actually did not change much um, the only things that moved here were the houses and of course Merlin's house felt like the forest vibes so I have him here too the next part biome I actually did do something with it's not done um, I'm, I'm not really satisfied yet so this is my beach uh, the beach I always had a bit of a struggle with, to be fair. This is Moana's house with a little bit of a chill area, which seems very fitting. Uh, Eric's house, I actually kind of want to move to the island over there. Uh, so yeah, I've been slowly taking all those things out and moving it around. We are having a bit of a beach relax vibe where you can just hang out on the sunny days like for example today in the game and another hangout spot just just casual you know nothing big maui's house is over on the other side here and yeah what more did i do on the beach uh, i had a little Hi, market thing hello penelope and another area here that i had a bit for a hangout spot for stitch uh, Stitch's house is over here at the corner. It felt really fitting actually to put him here. So yeah, other than that, we have the Glade of Trust where Penelope's house is and uh, I emptied it. So yeah, that's all I did. But the meadow, uh, not entirely done, but the grounds are here. So this is my theme park area. I'm still going to put out different balloons and everything because I want to have it matching, actually. Uh, so they're all going to be the same balloon. Uh, so yeah, and then we have the house of Woody here, which is placed in the corner as part of the attraction park area. Um, but yeah, this is not finished. I want to change the path uh, to one with bricks on the side. And as next area, we have a Mickey and Friends area. Um, definitely something that I started and did not finish due to pathing issues. I haven't figured that one out. So yeah, this is uh, so far what I've got. Uh, my plaza is uh, nearly done. Sort of. I still need to finish the fencing over here and the decorations. And I'm going to change the path. Since the update with the path thing, I kind of was like, oh my god, that's what I want. And now I have to change it. So, yeah. Uh, there is a little, like, lounge outside area. You can order stuff here, for example. Uh, Remy's house is over here with his own pool. Felt very fitting, in a way. His restaurant is going to be close by and I'm going to make a, a nice area over here with a bit of decor. So yeah, and then we have Scrooge's store over here right next to it. Seems like the best plan that I had. This is my outdoor storage area. It is not finished. I need to change the chest over here and put labels on. But yeah, as you can see, like my chests are pretty full. Uh, same with my fruits one and my flowers. They're like full. Then I have to, like this tiny pumpkin patch here because it felt really fitting because right next to it we have Wally's 
house with the garden and the van. So this is like a bit of a like gardening area that I felt really fit well with the plaza in this case. And it's a good way to hide the, well, put in their ugly houses as a like concept together, which I felt was a very fitting part. Uh, last week I actually started with a thing and I, I'm not done with it but uh, as you can see I got the pathing that I wanted uh, with the like core edge here and this is my sunlit plateau okay guys it's not finished I need to add things oh just it but yeah Okay, I'm not connected to the internet. Great. Um, so yeah, the, here is, for example, the house of... Guess who? Guess who? Okay, it's the mini casita. But, I mean, it's just going to be a nice spot. I'm going to fence this with a nice fence uh, to make a part of like a, their own private patio, I was thinking. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe put a table with all kinds of different foods. That was so far the idea. For the aesthetic, I actually placed back the thing here because it fits so nicely in here. And honestly, I, I really love it. I, I just need to put some benches down. I'm going to put some other things down. And yeah, this is going to be a perfect spot. I think Maribel's going to love it. I don't think my uh, the only other thing that I had as a problem was scars. I don't know what to do with it. I really don't. I don't want to move his house because it fits. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, benches definitely needed. And then we are going across the water. The layout is there. It's just I, I need to figure it out. And so far I haven't figured it out here. Um, I put some tables for aesthetic that I was maybe gonna place here. I don't know. And then I was running out of benches, so I needed to get more benches. So yeah, so far uh, the trees are gonna stick to this place. I tried to use these fountains, actually. Uh, and as you can see, fountains, waterfalls. Uh, there is one over there, too. Just to stick with the whole waterfall here. So this area is really making progress. I'm really actually starting to love this place. Next up, we have our forgotten area. Um, basically, I haven't done anything. I emptied it and that's about it. I put some decor for a quest, uh, put some lights and some benches. No big deal yet. I'm going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to think of like a, I don't know, Halloween kind of area. Uh, as you can see, I haven't played into this because I didn't open the chest yesterday. I didn't play yesterday. Uh, things came up and then I got busy. So yeah, uh, that's what happens. Overall, um, I've, I've done a lot in the game, but I feel like I could have decorated more. I do have a lot of furniture items. I have been grinding and collecting, buying doubles, multiples, just to be able to uh, get it all to fit in place. I do love my Sunlight Plateau, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like a little bit of like a jungle bushy area, which is just the vibe that I wanted to give it. Uh, there are small details here, for example, like the, Ooh, there, there it is. Ah, everything is in the way. Uh, yeah, wildebeest uh, carcasses. Uh, there's going to be like the lion cup lights I'm going to put around and then some benches. So yeah, this is the plan for the Sunlit Plateau. I need to get a more material to be able to make more paths and fix all this up. Uh, I've gotten quite far, but I have problems with two items and that is the soil and the pebbles uh shortly said i need to start digging more 
so yeah, that's uh, that's my uh, my valley, you know. And so far, I'm pretty happy. I feel like I could make more progress, but otherwise, I'm doing pretty good with this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next. Have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.